Your Bachmann train is a precision engineered scale model, and like any fine piece of machinery, it will operate better after a couple of hours of break in time. Your train will also perform best under clean operating conditions. Clean track and clean wheels ensure good electrical contact. After about every eight hours of operation, wipe the track rails and exposed portions of your locomotive's wheels with a soft, lint free cloth. The removal of a black residue is normal. Do not use steel wool to clean your track, since its metal fibers will damage your locomotive. If your track should become very dirty and dull looking, clean it with one of the recommended track cleaners available at your local hobby retailer. Common solvents are not recommended since they may damage plastics. After cleaning, be sure your track is free from lint, fiber, and loose materials which may be drawn into the motor. Care must be taken to maintain your train. After every 24 hours of operation, light lubrication is required to keep it in top operating condition. Lubricants must be used under adult supervision. You must use a plastic compatible, hobby quality lubricant. For best results, we highly recommend Bachmann's Easy Lube brand of professional lubricants. It's important to choose the appropriate lubricant for each job. Easy Lube is available as light gear oil, heavy gear oil, grease, and conductive contact lube. If you're in doubt as to which lubricant to use, visit or call your local hobby retailer for assistance. When applying lubrication, restraint is the key to a lifetime of enjoyment. Over lubrication will in fact damage your locomotive, so use a light touch. We're going to review the lubrication procedure on both a steam and diesel locomotive. The steps we take can be generalized to many different locomotives, with the basics being to apply a small amount of lubrication to all motor bearings, axle bearings, and the additional bearing surfaces, and in the case of steam locomotives, to all exterior operating valve gear. To get started with this 060 steam locomotive, make sure it is cooled down for a few minutes after operation and then remove just one Phillips head screw at the very back of the locomotive. If additional screws need to be removed for your style of locomotive, keep the screws in their proper order as their length may vary and you want to replace them correctly. To remove the locomotive shell, Locate this tab that snaps into the slot in front of the air cylinder. Use a screwdriver to gently pry the shell up and away from the tab and then lift the shell off the frame. If your locomotive has a smoke unit and it's loosened during this process, simply set it back in place, making sure that the contact ears touch the sides of the frame. Be careful to avoid touching the fine wires in the smoke unit as they are very delicate. Also at this time, if your headlight needs to be replaced, it can be removed by gently prying it up with a small screwdriver and then inserting a new lamp with its wires touching both sides of the frame. Replacement smoke units and headlamps may be purchased by contacting Bachmann's service department. To begin lubrication, Place just one drop of Easy Lube light gear oil on the back end of the motor shaft. It is difficult to show, but you should place a second drop between the motor and the brass gear. Now place three drops of light gear oil along one side of the brass gear and, using a toothpick as an applicator, place a small amount of gear grease on the brass gear as well. There's no need to lubricate both sides of the gear as the lubricants will be distributed as the locomotive operates. A little goes a long way, so be sure to remove any excess. Now, switching to conductive contact lube, touch one small drop to each wheel axle by pushing the wheel sets to first one side and then the other. Going back to the light gear oil, touch a very small amount, just about a quarter of a drop, onto each crank pin and rivet of the valve gear. Also, be sure to lubricate the piston rod that slides in and out, the top and bottom of the valve guide, and the large rivet located behind the valve guide. The last thing to do before closing the locomotive is to place a very small amount of conductive contact easy lube on the surface of the main drive wheels. A small amount of this highly concentrated lubricant will reduce the amount of amp draw required by your locomotive and increase electrical pickup for smooth operation. You don't need much, 
Just touch the applicator to each wheel surface without squeezing the bottle. You can now place the body shell back on the frame by aligning it and pushing it down until it snaps over this tab located on both sides of the locomotive. Without over tightening, be sure to replace any bottom screws that were removed before resuming operation of your train. Some advanced spectrum steam locomotives have a high level of detail that makes shell removal difficult. Happily, they are powered by a cog V-belt drive that requires very little maintenance. We suggest that, should maintenance be required, you contact a local model railroad professional or our service department. Diesel locomotives come in many shapes and sizes. Since each type is different, you'll have to consult the exploded view diagram to see how to disassemble your particular locomotive. To access the interior of this diesel locomotive, remove the four screws located at the bottom of the locomotive at both ends of the fuel tank. Now carefully lift up the locomotive shell and slide it over the front coupler. Put one small drop of light gear oil on the exposed motor bearings. If your headlamp needs to be replaced, the old headlight should be removed and a new one, available from the service department, can be spliced in. Before moving ahead to the next lubrication procedure, you should replace the body shell. Carefully insert the front coupler through the shell and replace the four screws. Now it's time to lubricate the gears and wheels on your diesel locomotive's trucks. To do this, simply take a flat blade screwdriver and pop off the truck side frames and bottom cover. With the gears exposed, touch a small drop of light gear oil to each axle where it meets the frame. Also, touch a small drop of light gear oil to the top of each gear and place a small amount of grease on the top of each gear as well. Be sure you do not over lubricate. Any excess lubricant should be wiped clean. You can now replace the side frames by pressing down until they snap into place. The last step required for diesel lubrication is to apply conductive contact lube to each wheel surface. Again, you don't need much. Just touch the applicator to each wheel surface without squeezing the bottle. That's it. You're done. Now the fun begins. With proper setup and regular maintenance, you'll enjoy your Bachman train for years to come. To help you expand your HO Railroad empire, Bachman's Standard Line and Spectrum Line offer a complete selection of separate sale motive power, freight and passenger cars, buildings, track, and accessories. If you want more information on HO scale model railroading, check the following resources. And be sure to visit www.bachmantrains.com regularly to see what's new in Bachman's world of model railroading. Thanks again for choosing a Bachman electric train. All aboard!